You guys have talked about uh, how your shooting will come and go, but the defense kind of has to be a constant pullout games where you're not hitting your shots. Um, could you just, I guess, illustrate how vital that was in this game where I think you got shot 15% in the second quarter and the shooting was coming and going all night? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> you know, when you're getting stops, um, that makes up for a lot of different things. I think tonight our shots started to fall in that third quarter and was able to get us a nice little lead. And, um, you know, we had to figure out where we are going to get our energy from. We've been playing our last six games at home, so when we start missing four or five shots, our crowd is, you know, trying to get excited for us, but not here in the road, you know. <laughs> so we got to figure out where we get that energy from, and I think we got it from each other there in that second half. And, but the defense has stayed consistent. They shoot 38% from the field. Uh, we all rebounded them, so that's, pretty, that's, a, that's a solid night. And when they went on an 11-2 run and got to within two late, maybe about three minutes left, two and a half minutes left, um, and you were able to kind of take over and salt it away, I mean, what were you able to do in terms of what were you able to take advantage of to get to your spot to be able to put this away that way? I just, I really think that <clears throat> I missed too many shots tonight. I felt like I got to my spots, but I got to do a better job of sticking with my fundamentals once I get there. So we won't even have to be in these positions, you know. When we up 18, 16, that could have been 23, 24 if I made a few of those shots. So I don't take some of those bad. I took a couple bad threes, you know. So I feel like if, you know, I'm getting to my spot all night, getting downhill, that's usually good for our team. and. You know, it was in spurts for me tonight. But it was good to see a couple go down in the fourth, and uh, it's good to get a win. Yeah, you talked a bit about the offense. You guys had 39 in the first half and then essentially doubled that in the third quarter. <laughs> what sort of working offensively with you guys on that stretch? Um, we may, I mean, like I said, make, make or miss league. You see a couple threes go in, and LaMarcus got it going for us, knocking down the midi. Um, we just started to make shots. I got, I made probably five out of my six shots there in the third, you know. So, um, you know, when you when you see the ball go through the rim, it just gives you a little bit more energy. It fired the bench up, which made us better on the defensive side of the ball. So, um, but I just like how we didn't get down big early. Um, in spite of, you know, even though we shot bad, we stuck with our defense. We talked all night. We won one string. So that's that's a step in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Kay's game. I think he's going to be a tough, tough cover for a long, long time. Got to know him when he was in high school, so we built a little relationship. And to play against him in the NBA is, uh, is sweet. We had a lot of conversations about being on this level and what it took. And to see him out here battle through some injuries to start, but to come out here and play aggressive tonight, hit some big shots for him. Um, I'm happy for him. Looking forward to seeing his career. Were you talking to him? Did you guys get into it a little bit verbally? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you got guys that you've known. And like I said, this is this is really one of my guys, you know. So <clears throat> um, when I'm guarding him, I know he's going to come. I want him to come at me as best as he can. And when he's guarding me, I'm going to do the same. It's just that friendly competition it ramps up a bit when you, when you know somebody. Uh, I was just saying, I mean, it's just always an adjustment period, I guess, when you first, you know, get a feel for it. Um, but after some time using the ball, you get, just get used to it after a while. Do you, this new ball, some people say it's an issue. How do you feel about it? Um, I mean, I think, I mean, I, for me, I can't, go, I can't talk it for my peers, but for me, I mean, it just feel the same. Um, I mean, every ball is has to be worn in a little bit before you get that that feel. And um, even with the Spalding balls, it took you know once the, the newer balls were tough to play with because they slipped out your hand a bit. But once you <clears throat> once they got warmed up, they was cool. So the the, the Wilson ones feel the same. It's a good atmosphere tonight. What are you expecting in Toronto? <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm excited that Toronto is open again and they got their their team back um it was a rough year for them being in tampa and moving your whole organization so um it's exciting that you know we get to go up there and play again that's a that's a unique fan base and um you know they're gonna be on their feet all game and, and bring giving their team some energy so it's gonna be a nice test for us that's a good test